Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Um, as you can see, I'm leading this chicken down a long hallway. Um, well, your questions will be answered in due time, because I can guarantee that you have a lot of questions. Um, for example, first of which, why is this tunnel so long? Where does this tunnel go? Where is this tunnel? Why did you leave iron in the walls? And why is there a chicken following you? Well, once we come up to the top of this stair set at the end here, I'll be able to show you. I've done a lot of work in the, um, didn't decide to call it anywhere, that big giant floaty thing in the sky. Did a lot of work there. A lot of interior design work. Um, I want to say I got carried away, but I honestly don't believe I did. I think I did what was necessary to make it look interesting, but also um, keep a very... Well, I wouldn't call it simplistic. Okay, fuck it, I went overboard. Um, I changed the water mod back to default. Uh, not because Minecraft updated to 1.1, but because um, I just... I wasn't used to the frame rate dropping and it was really, really annoying. So I turned it off for a little while. I'll turn it back on in a later episode. But as I built, I wanted a smoother frame rate. So as we come up here, the big tree. Oh, that's still on the top. Oh, no, a pig got out. Wait, how did a pig get out? That's a bit worrying. Come on. Get through here. Did he jump over somehow? How did you get... What? What the fuck, man? What are you... How the hell did you get... Okay, well, this kind of ruined the surprise. Um, but, okay, well, first of all, this is the chicken enclosure, so let's get you in here. There we go. Get out, pig. Okay, so now we got to get the friggin' cow back over here. Let's get in here. Come on. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. What was that? How did they get out there? I... That's a bit worrying. I don't know how they did that. Uh, right, now, pig. Over here. In we come. Over here. There we go. Now, I only know... I only need, uh, one chicken. Yeah, that's really... That's really weird. I don't know how they... Got out. We'll just uh, close that up for now. Here we go. And we'll fix the fence here. After I get all this, don't you escape or anything. Here we go. Must must just be like a clipping glitch or something, but yes. And eventually I'll replace this with grass, um, as is to be expected. Oh wow, I haven't even told you guys that yet with the silk touch problem and everything. Right, okay, well... First of all, this is my barn. I built this today, so this is actually the newest addition to this place. Um, yeah. Really simple. Four pens, four mobs. Because when I went slaying these guys mercilessly in earlier episodes, I didn't know that they don't re uh, respawn once you kill them. So, yeah, turns out I had to cart them from all the way over in the plains up to here. And I guarantee you guys didn't want to see that because it just took way too long. But um, eventually I'll be able to get wool, I'll be able to get meat, um, breeding them and everything was, was going to be easy. Now, on to the stuff I did before I built the barn. Um, this is the new main area, the main junction, the main hub, whatever you want to call it. Um, over here, I think is still the same from last episode, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't think I've changed that much, I added this thing here, although I don't remember if it was used. Um, so you walk in, I place the door sideways, so as you stand in, the pressure plate closes it behind you, so nothing can sneak up behind you. Um, you'll also notice in my inventory, I've got three bows. I've got an Infinity 1, a Damage 5, and a Damage 5 and Punch 2. Haven't tested that one yet. I've tested these two, and they work pretty awesome. It's the new bow enchantment thing that uh, Jeb added, and I was testing them out, and they're really fun. And I've also got more stuff added in this chest right here for when we go to the end, but that's that's for a later time. Um, so I haven't done much work over here, I don't think I haven't... Oh, well, first of all, I'll, sh I'll show you what I meant to show you first. As you can see right here, I've got 10, I believe 10, yeah, 10 golden pickaxes and 9 diamond pickaxes. So these are older ones, and these are all brand new ones that I created. Now, here comes the bad part. You guys... Feel free to call me an idiot for this, but Golden Pickaxe, Unbreaking 2. So, when I was enchant- this was before the enchantment update, so, um, you know, getting level 40 
like something in the late 40s was actually pretty annoying to get to. Um, like a 50 was unheard of pretty much. But I got Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. Yeah, you can just look through it. So this is what I got for the Golden Pickaxes. So I would have thought that I had a bit of a more luck getting Silk Touch on one of these, but apparently not. And um, as I went through, look, Silk Touch. And that was the fourth pickaxe I enchanted out of uh, five more. And I didn't even notice. I just put it in the chest and I spread grass into each of these four quadrants. It took forever to do. And I had a Silk Touch pickaxe in one of the chests the entire time. So there you go. I'm a fucking moron. But... Yeah, I did this area here. Um, I didn't intend to have a glass bottom originally. I meant to have like a design on the floor, which I think looks much better. I like it. Um, got the trap doors over the glowstone. Break it up a bit. Um, give it a bit of depth. But uh, yeah, we got hedges all over the place. We've got grass. We've got mushrooms in each, um, each corner. We've got alternating. Um, I accidentally knocked that out before, so just, just don't look at that. But... I put vines on them and everything, I've spread them around. Um, out here is the newest, well not the newest, obviously the barn is the newest, but this is the what I've been doing for the last week, is over here. Uh, this connects down, let me just try and run here, fucking controls man. So as you come down here, this splits off into the, um, like where you come up and then you turn right. This also comes this way, I'm not sure if I had this last episode, but uh, yeah, this is it, and there's a tree up here, added a canopy with vines and everything to make it look awesome. I think it looks awesome. Over here we got extra storage, and I've moved a lot of the stuff over to here. This was all from mining out the top of that mountain for a new tree farm, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, yeah, all that stuff. We've got mushroom stew, because I was farming them. A lot of random crap. Um, wooden hoe that I accidentally took from the old wheat farm down around the corner there. Um... And all the stone bricks and everything has been moved to here for decorating the big floating jellyfish. And this is just a room with um, garbage disposal as the sun sets. But uh, I'll show you the new tree farm. I can't remember how many trees are actually in this. It's an odd number uh, because it's just a big circle. Um, uh, can't honestly remember. It's more than 36, which is more than the last one that I had in the sandbox. So that's much better, I guess. Um... I have fallen off this many, many times, and it's actually fun to fall off it, so I wasn't that pissed. But climbing back to the top is very, very annoying. Let's just climb through here and give you an idea of what it looks like. So there's the sandbox down there with the unfinished quick kit and everything. We've got a pathway that leads directly to the front door, pretty much. Um, so yeah, this is just a big sandstone disc with uh, wooden checkers and everything and trees in the middle. It, I originally went through different designs for this here. I knew I wanted wood around the trees, but I had uh, nether, I had grass originally, and then I had nether brick, and I had just these different designs that I didn't particularly like. But um, I like the sandstone. It looks cool. But uh, yeah, been a busy bee this week, and this is what I've been doing pretty much. I've done a lot of work in the Nightmare Realm as well. Similarly, I've done uh, a lot of base work there. Um, but yeah, now I'm working on the farm, so I wanted to record this after I finish the farm, uh, the animal farm, I guess, so that I can use out, use slash try out the um, silk touch pickaxe. So grab that and give that a whirl. But uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm still on peaceful actually. I oh, don't think I've switched it back. Um, let's see, where is it? Silk touch. So yeah, I just got this silk touch pick and I didn't even realize it. Uh, oh, and... Oh no, I'm not going to show you guys. Sorry, I just got your hopes up for nothing. Um, honestly, you can believe me, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, it's part of the... Um, fuck, what was I going to say? I don't remember. But anyways. Let's just uh, grab some grass, shall we? And I'm going to remove this eventually. It's like a big fucking tube that goes directly under the ocean over to the plains. We're just gonna nab some of this grass though. Oh man, that's so cool. That has efficiency five, damn. They see me hacking, they hate me. I'll try and only pick up grass with this thing. Oh wait, I've got unbreaking through. Oh fuck yeah, this is the best pickaxe ever. Alright, I'll be right back after I've got like a 
significant amount of grass. Alright, I think two stacks is enough for what I want to do. Up in the, uh, the animal barn. I don't know. Sc oh, fuck's sake. That's, uh, yeah, I realize that there's a couple of pigs here, but they were a bit difficult to get to, so... I don't think I can actually make that jump, so we'll just... Assist ourselves here a little bit. Better. Alright, so I'm going to head back in there and uh, finish up the barn, and then I can switch it back to normal difficulty, as usual. Oh, I forgot that I entered from a different location. That's a bit stupid of me. Fuck. Damn it. Oops. Alright, there we go. We can uh, get rid of this. There we are. Also, I have to check if those guys have left their pen or anything. No, I, I see. I think it must be something to do with these fences. Um, maybe, perhaps, after they've been updated to have a different hitbox, maybe they can clip through them or something. I'm not sure how that works. And also, if I breed animals, for example, if I were to breed these two cows, go at it, you filthy cows! Oh, you already did. Yes, I know. Uh, I wonder if if they have a baby, if it will end up on the other side of the fence. I'm not sure. Yeah, you guys can have one. That was when I was getting black wool for the um, sandbox in the main room. All the sheep out there, I dyed black, so... No. Did I? Yeah, okay. And you have no one. You are forever lone chicken. I'm sorry. But uh, I'm going to let those guys grow up. And, uh... What was I doing? Grass, right. <laughs> totally forgot. My mind is all scrambled at the moment. Um, now, this is actually going to be difficult because I have to replace... because sheep are the only animal that actually eat the grass so once I place it I have to be careful that they don't eat it straight away and actually... oh no, that one's not meant to be there let's grab that back um, I, I built this barn originally in creative mode and uh, this is what I came up with so Oh, good, it does work. Okay, so I've got a layer of grass up here that they can't get to. So this will spread downwards, if need be. Um, oopsie doodle. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so I was originally going to have fences that hold it up, but I clearly do not have any fences, so. Problematic? I think so. And I'm just going to replace all this with grass, including the other pens as well and uh, I'll be right back. So I was just cutting down these trees and uh, I thought you guys might want to know. They drop apples now! Yeah! Apples! Oh shit, yeah! See, look at that. Look at that. I did not know that. That is so cool. I knew the golden apple recipe had been changed, I just didn't know that regular trees drop apples now, so that's pretty fucking sick. That is awesome! Get some goddamn apples up in here. Mmm. Food sauce! Because I originally built the uh, the barn over there for meat and wool, stuff like that. And uh, now I can get food from trees. I do believe in the Nightmare Realm, I said, wouldn't it be nice if you could eat wood or something along the lines of that? Well, now you can in its glorious red shiny matter, I suppose. Anyways, onwards. I'll show you guys what I've done so far and then I'll do a cutty me cut cut, dubby dup dup derp hup derp derp herp derp cut thing. And, uh, yeah, this is what I've done. It's all half slabs, so it doesn't matter how dark it is at the moment. Kind of looks really cool and mysterious. But, yeah, I'm going to add, like, a, maybe, like, a roof here and a chandelier, and I'll have chests, maybe. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, just making it look a little bit different, a little bit nicer. But, um, four more stacks. So we can change that into half slabs over here. I just want to try and see if I can turn this place into anything, um, halfway decent, because uh, at the moment it doesn't look too good. Oh, and I'm going to turn off um, view bobbing, because it's much easier to do this. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, be right but What the fuck? And the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light, and you could see for about mm, 20, 30 meters or so. But uh, yeah, I decided to just put glowstone in the roof. I'll turn back on my view bobbing. There we go. I feel naked without it. Anyways, yeah, this is what I did. I... Yeah, it's not the best, I admit, but... Yeah, maybe I could put, like, a bed down here or something. I'm not sure. Maybe I could just leave it as is, you know? Maybe leave it as a bit of a decorative piece. But, um... 
I don't I don't know what it looks like from the outside, like from below, so I might want to check that out, perhaps. Um, you know, it's it's not a waste of resources entirely. I mean, uh, whoops. What the fuck's going on there? Um, yeah, it, it looks alright to me. So I'm just going to check it out. You know, maybe jump off the edge, have a bit of a look. A bit of a look-see. Where the hell is the edge to this thing? There we go. Um, disoriented. Right, there we go. So yeah, it looks nice. Not really, but, you know, it looks nice. What does it look like from here? Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's not die. Let me jump off this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there we go. Got my last gay Tony in. There we go. Alright, what does that look like? It's not too bad, actually. It sort of um, alleviates from the topmost uh, level of the scientific... I can't think of any more big words, but yeah, it sort of separates it from before. Sorry about that. Boop! Um, yeah, before it had the walkways and everything there. Now it's sort of much better. Shut the fuck up, computer. Oh my goodness. But, uh, yeah. One more time, computer. I swear to God. I'm gonna strangle you, motherfucker. Anyway, yeah, it, was, uh, it looks nice. It's got the uh, different branches. I think I might do the reed farm out here, maybe. I'm not sure, because I don't need the reed farm anymore, because I found the stronghold and I got all those bookcases. Um, maybe if I want to make cakes or something. If I need, like, mass sugar, which I don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's the barn up there. I might add some supports. It looks a bit strange, just floating there. But then again, this whole thing is just floating there, so not really a lot to... Uh, improve on there, but um, once I install the uh, the water mod and everything, the water shader, and get everything back up and running, I think that this is going to be the most bitchiness thing ever, because I was actually going through my Minecraft screenshots folder earlier today, and I saw my old world in it, uh, the world I had before I started this Let's Play, the main one that I played on, and uh, I'll show the picture right now, it's, it's from the front, and it shows all the stuff there, and yada yada yada, whatever the fuck, and it looks sick. And I realized that that's what I had to do in this world because I like to make stuff that looks sick, basically. Um, not sick as in <laughs> sick, I mean sick as in fully sick, bruh. So, it's, it's gonna look alright by the time I'm finished with it, hopefully. Um, you know, I've, I've got a lot of plans for this place, I'm not done with it yet. Um, I'm just kidding, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. No, I do have some idea of what I want to add to this place just yet, but uh, well, the vines are growing pretty long. I think they should, mm, I don't know, I was going to say maybe they should stop after a, a distance because the ones over here are just like, meh, I don't know, I, I like it, but if it it looks too weird then I might remove half of them, not sure, but uh, let's just go over here to my boat conglomeration, and by conglomeration I mean one, and by a sense I mean making none. And by talking, I mean herpity derp derp, I can't do it. But anyways, make my way up here. And also, I do realize that getting up to this level right here, because everything from this level onwards is just piece of cake. You just follow the stairways. But to get to here, you have to climb up that mountainside and everything like that. So what I'm thinking is, I should install... Uh, no, not here. That's retarded. I was going to install a piston elevator, if you remember, in episode 0 of my Let's Play, which was, God knows, like, two, three months ago, maybe? I don't remember. But I'm thinking about installing the same piston elevator right here, so I can go directly from, um, from water. Maybe I could have a boat elevator, like Doc M's uh, boat elevator, so I can just come in on a boat and then switch boats, come up to here, um, get let off, you know? Or I could have two floors, have, this is the top floor, and then have the floor below, which would be the, um, the uh, the one I was just standing on down there, that one. Maybe, I'm not sure, because I guarantee that this thing's going to be in the road, so I'd have to dig back a little bit, maybe. Or, you know, put it entirely different, put it in an entirely different location. Maybe I could have it out on this wing, not sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of building recently, and I'm sorry if you don't like building, but go fuck yourself. I love building in Minecraft, it's one of the best things you can probably do. And, uh, you know, when everything comes together, it just looks amazing. See, there's a fucking fat-ass sheep. Ah, a wheat farm. That's what I need up here. I need to do a wheat farm. So maybe I could put it on that arm or uh, branch it off somewhere. Maybe close to the barn. Maybe I could have it... Yeah, that arm would make sense. Um, so instead of a reed farm, I could have the wheat farm. That'd be nice. 
because currently the only income of wheat that I have is the old one down by the sandbox around the corner there. And yeah, sure, it's fun to jump off this thing and all that sort of business, but I mean, come on. Every time I want wheat, yeah, nah, not gonna happen. And I need to replant my trees, don't I? Shit. Derpity derp derp, forgetting again. But uh, I think next episode is gonna be a little bit more interesting than this one. I think this one is um, pretty chillax. I think that's what I said last time, but yeah, this one's a little bit chillax. It's, uh, you know, I'm not going out of my way to make it spectacularly amazing or anything like that. Because I've done a lot of work in both this world and, fucking hell, and the Nightmare Realm, so, yeah. You know, come on, there's really no good way to do this with 30 frame rate. It's like your timing is just off, because you, your brain calculates it wrong. Anyways, I'll get working on setting up a wheat farm location, not in the game, uh, usually when I say I'm setting up something that means I'm drawing it down on paper, um, like I had the uh, the tunnel that goes underneath the ocean where I started this episode, there's where it enters by the way, so I brought the mobs into that little box and then we went down a stair set under the ocean, took them up there, um, so yeah I wrote that down on paper, uh, the coordinates and everything, did some hardcore mathematics, uh, mathematics pulsar, but uh, yeah, and then I drew up the uh, design for the barn and everything like that. And it worked out pretty good. Worked out pretty awesome how I intended it to look. And uh, fuck yeah. So now all the trees are planted, I'm going to get working, i.e. drawing, on the uh, the wheat farm design. I think... No, that's right. See, I've got a really good reed farm design, but it's fairly useless now that I have a stronghold. And there's probably going to be another library in the stronghold, so... Yeah, um, let's see, so I'll have to work on getting this up and running. This would be a nice place for a wheat farm as well, have a good view. But uh, yeah, I'm liking how this is coming along. Tell me what you think, I mean, feel free to voice your opinions if you think it looks like utter shit. Just, you know, put in a comment, hey, I think this place looks like utter camel shit, you know. You don't have to use the word camel, I mean, that's just offensive, but, you know, if you don't like a certain aspect of it, please let me know. I like that dirt there. It uh, reminds me of how much an uncoordinated fuckhead I am, but uh, yeah, I really like the overall uh, overgrown aspect of it, you know, glowstone in the top of the mushrooms, and um, apparently vines grow past it, which is kind of weird, but um, yeah, thank, thank you guys for watching, um, I don't usually say that, but it feels kind of weird. Well, anyway, thanks for making it this far, I've got a glowing tree in the center, I think I've already shown you that. But uh, yeah, I like how this is coming along. Might do something up on the top ring yet. Not sure. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see you next time. In episode 31. When we travel into the unknown. Well, actually it is known because it's the end. But yeah, we'll probably go to the end next time. Maybe even fight the Ender Dragon. Not sure yet, guys. But anyway, see you guys later.